I made a series about micronations, so it's about people who have created their own country uh, from scratch. So it can be just a flat or a small village or maybe an area. And they design a flag, uh, they create a national anthem, a currency, a constitution, everything. So they look like at the end, like a real country. But first of all, I was uh, intrigued by the fact that uh, they didn't create something completely new. Uh, they created uh, like empires or republics, principalities, everything. So they are um, imitating uh, already existing type of government. And I think they prefer sometimes like two or three days per year be the king of their own kingdom than to be the second in Rome. I think this is a quote. I think I was always interested in uh, small and remote places with improbable history. And I discovered that it was not a unique phenomenon, that there was plenty of micronation everywhere in the world. And I said, OK, let's go. Let's do um, a world tour of micronations. It was only me, a tripod, and a camera. And that was it. The idea was to put them in the middle of the frame, standing up, really proud, with the chin uh, up. And so they can look uh, like a real prince, or a real president, or everything. I think for most of them, it's, uh, it's like a role, role play. They are dressed like emperor or kings, I don't know, seven days per year, that's it. It's a way for them to get recognition or maybe getting famous or maybe earn money from this. So they're not outside the world. They are just trying to uh, reshape the world at their own image. But I think this is the difference between a, a real country like the Netherlands or France. It's this part of irony in that project. So people can make fun of them, but they don't care because it's part of the, of the project. And if you dress like a king and you are not, of course it's funny. But they know that. Actually, most of them were really pleased to have me because I think they are willing to get a lot of attention. So in a way, I was giving them maybe this attention. Except uh, the prince of uh, Hutt River. Uh, I made a phone call and I was telling him my project. And I was like, OK, cool, but I can see why you would come to the Principality of Hutt River, because I'm a prince, I'm a head of state of a real country, I'm not a micronation, so why would you bother to come to Australia to take a picture of me? It doesn't make sense. I was like, mm, OK, of course. But I went there anyway, and I took his portrait, and uh, I disagree with their project to create new borders, but I think it's a funny way to talk about very serious stuff, like geographical issues, geopolitical issues. When you look at the pictures, you say, ha ha, it's funny. But after that, and I hope uh, it's the case, but you are beginning to think that uh, there, there is more than humor in these pictures. And it says a lot about the world we are living in.